Yet, what if someone bought, say, five or maybe ten years ago? Well, then, if you haven't had an annual checkup, you are so overdue. Time to do it. Moving forward with the Decker team. Moving forward together with the Decker team. And so we're grateful that we've created for you free access to over 587 Life's Inside Track episodes that you can get access to from basically anywhere. And they're really about how to make the most out of your real estate, how to make the most out of your home, how to make the most out of your money, and really, essentially, how to make the most out of your life. And so what we're going to explore in this segment is what about my equity? Like if I've been there a long time, do I even have to think about it? So what? So what? I'm just wondering. So what, Ken Decker? Mm. Well, you know, I've been a little remiss lately in getting our our monthly financial statement to you. And part of knowing what your net worth is on a monthly basis, just like in a business, if you own a business or you work for a business, that business most likely does a monthly profit and loss statement and balance statement. Uh, The balance statement says what assets they have, what liabilities they have, and basically what their net worth is of the company. The profit and loss just says what came in, what went out. That's kind of a cash flow thing for the month. But the balance sheet is important because it says, oh, how much cash do I have? Will that meet next month's expenses? Will, you know, what kind of... um, Health is our business in. Same thing with your personal life. If you do your financials once a month, you'll get a sense of whether you're financially healthy or you need to make a change. And also when you're monitoring it monthly, you can see whether it went up or went down based on your spending decision or your investment decisions. Right. So are you saying that from an equity perspective, we're talking about our house primarily, even Mm -hmm. though the big financial picture the house is part of it. It's yeah. not all of it, which no. is what I'm hearing you say. And it's a right. significant part of it. So are you suggesting that we need to do an, a monthly analysis of the value of our house? or we I, need to I knew you were going to go there. You did, eh? <laughs> well, you took me down that little yeah. path. I kind of do because I'm in the industry. So I look at it. Uh, most people, if they did annually, what's the equity of their home? That's sufficient enough. Uh, if you know that the market's going up significantly in your area and you want to add a couple percent during the year as you go along, great, do that. If you know the market's gone down some, fine, do that. But if you get kind of an, a, a, a professional opinion, not that that's going to be the value you're going to get if you put it on the market for sure, because you know it's just an equity review and get an idea of what your property's worth. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. It's not just an equity review. (laughs) It's an equity review. And there's real value in being aware. I mean, it's that thought that A stands for awareness creates empowerment. I can't know what I can do or have confidence to even do the things I might want to do if I don't first have awareness. That's true. An equity review is a big deal. And if you've been in your house 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you might have been following the market and have some understanding. And if you haven't had that, I'm going to call it should be annual, not every decade checkup, but that annual checkup, it is time to connect with us. We will gladly offer it to you, whether you're one of our clients or one of our listeners, somebody that follows The journey with us is on the real estate journey with us, whether up close and personal or whether a little from afar. Yeah. Actually, they're kind of one of our clients if they call and ask for our free equity evaluation, right? That kind of sets them (laughs) up to have that annual review and set the stage for what might be next. Right. When the time comes. Yeah. And then we would communicate with them regularly as to what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Now, You know, so you said financial awareness creates empowerment and you said ACE, right? I did. What's the ACE? The ACE is awareness. Creates 
Empowerment. Yeah, so it's an acronym. It's an acronym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, sorry, I've been living it for like a couple of decades now. So my whole life, not just my financial situation, is based on that concept. Right. Because what I don't know, burying my head in the sand, even if I think it's bad news, doesn't help me. There's no power there. There's Mm. no empowerment possible. The other thing I've started saying, which is still an acronym for ACE, awareness, creates everything. <laughs> everything. Like everything okay. is possible once yeah. you have awareness. Because I, I think once the empowerment part means, can I do something else in the future? Do yeah. Is there a risk that I'm, I'm facing? Am I facing a risk? You know, even my son called, Ryan called the other day and he goes, hmm, you know, if I renew my mortgage on my investment properties, do I need to do another application? So that's a great question because many people wonder, you know, if they have to renew their mortgage, do they have to do another full-blown application, letters of employment, T4, T1 generals, and all that kind of stuff? And for most lenders, the answer is no. Unless you're switching lenders. Unless you're switching lenders or refinancing. Right. If If you're you're increasing. If you're you're increasing, that's what I mean by refinancing, Mm -hmm. or changing lenders, you're going to have to go through the whole process again. But if you're up for renewal... And you're current on your payments. You're a good mortgage or, right? The mortgage or is the person that borrows the money. If you're a good mortgage or, they have no need to do that. The, the money they feel is secure. You've been making your monthly payments on time. They're happy. And and because you've been paying off your mortgage, even if the values have dipped a bit, you're likely not in an equity poor position if you've Mm -hmm. had it for any length of time. Yep. Because you've been paying down, paying down, paying down. And for many of the years that you would have owned it, it would have gone up, up, up. So it's almost, if you've been in your house any length of time, it's almost a false sense of insecurity Mm -hmm. because your house is worth exponentially more than it was when you bought it. Even if it isn't worth as much on paper as it might have been 12 months ago, because that was kind of a false start. It was a high, it was a high in the market. Um, So there's, there's ways to amplify your equity. Mm -hmm. Um, One is to, improve your property, right? Sweat equity, you can put money in, you can renovate, you can update kitchens, bathrooms, put new hardwood flooring in, things like that. Especially if you put the it cash and you didn't borrow the money to do it. Now you've significantly increased your equity because you've raised the value of the property. Mm -hmm. Beyond what you invested. Like that's the goal, right? Take Mm -hmm. money from somewhere else, make it so that the so if you're ever wondering like is this a good thing to do will this actually help my equity or hinder my equity like do pick up the phone do send us an mm-hmm. email because sometimes i get calls and people did some extravagant wonderful things thinking it would improve the value of their property but it actually hurt their equity rather than was an asset yeah like when people go well it's got a perfectly good kitchen but i don't like the color anymore so yeah. they rip it out put a new thirty thousand dollar kitchen in fifty but it didn't increase the value of the property that much because it already had a good kitchen. Or at all. Yeah, exactly. So the ace. If you have an ace, if you're playing cards and you have an ace, is it of any value? Only, here's the bottom line, only if you get to play it. If you don't play from a place of awareness and or you don't play that ace if you're playing cards, it's useless. Right. So you want to connect with us at together at DeckerTeam.com and ask us for an evaluation of your equity. And thanks for the privilege of moving alongside with you because we're passionate about all of us being positioned for generational legacy. Moving forward with the